Yeah, I'm out of line. Hell yeah, I'm out of line. Everything going on in the world out of line. I'm tired of being in line with motherfuckers and then they could just be out of line with me and play dumb and play stupid and I'm just supposed to be like, oh yeah, I understand. Hell yeah, I'm out of line. Cause I ain't did nothing but be in, I ain't did nothing but color inside the motherfucking lines. Tell the motherfuckers at, at Capitol Plaza they out of line. Tell the motherfuckers that's tearing up people's shit and stealing shit out the Foot Locker. Tell the motherfuckers stealing them Jordans out of Chimps. Tell them they wrong. I'm so tired of motherfuckers calling me in the middle of the night telling me what the fucking do with my motherfucking life. And the reason why I'm ag and going through it is because of some, some other shit. Because if I had it my way, I would be laying down in the bed. But this is the this is Ashley being nice. Ashley being nice always get inconvenienced and out the circle and put out. I swear to God, that's exactly what the fuck be happening. And this ain't the first day. This ain't the first day this girl has been and pulled a motherfucking stunt. This ain't the first day anybody didn't pull the stunt with me. So they need to just leave me the fuck alone. And stop calling me thinking they could just talk to me crazy and say anything to me on my motherfucking phone. I think that's why I've been changing my number so much. I don't know what give people the audacity to just call my phone and think they could talk crazy to me. Just because they feel like it. Oh, because they butt hurt. Just because they butt hurt. I don't give a fuck about you being butt hurt at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm not even butt hurt. So if I'm not butt hurt, should nobody be butt hurt? I'm beyond butt hurt, bitch. I've been betrayed. Call me when you ready to talk about how motherfucker betrays you. Let's talk about betrayal. Second word. You but hurt because I'm betrayed. I've been be betrayed. And you see how easy it is to switch and jump the fence on Ashley? Shit. Motherfuckers call their baby mamas all kind of bitches and hoes. Niggas sit up and disrespect females like it's the right thing to do. But I'm wrong for calling a spade a spade. I'll be so glad when I could get me a piece of this $480 billion they didn't gave to everybody but me. I ain't got no stimulus yet.
Don't get it. I don't know what to say. People are so crazy. People don't want me to say nothing. It's like, I'm not supposed to say shit. I can't say shit. I it's like a real black woman is... Um, I feel sorry for us. We got in the car. Is anybody trying to hear shit you got to say? I mean, in that thing. I guess, I guess I'm going back to the point. I'm going to do something different. Because it's June 1st. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. So... Deadlines are coming. I gotta get to work. I make sure I do what I do. I guess I will. Yeah. Why this shit all come together like both of this? And I don't understand how somebody gonna call you if, like, they just woke up and been asleep. And still know you outside sitting in the room. And you still ain't been outside. I'm like, okay, he came outside. Now, I'm trying to respect the kids and not go in there. I don't know why I would be making so much noise to wake them up in the first place. I guess they give a reason to sleep in bed, but I don't know. I won't have a little sleep. I don't know. Back to these folks here as we find Tessie. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yes, I 
supposed to keep riding by here. Parking lot busy. I think I'm finna just go in the house. I like being inside and it's certain hours. Anyway, that's what I'm just talking about. Well, I tell you. I don't know which one be busier at hand. I mean, I know which one is busier. It's God, obviously. But the devil or the angels or God himself, because I know for a fact the devil busy. I just thank God for, for him being himself. And I need no help in being able to be him all by himself in order to serve and protect us all from evilness. And I just want to thank him for keeping me covered in his blood and keeping my children. And for the Kivan wrapped in his glory. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good night, Facebook. I stay prayed up. It's a spiritual warfare out here. This is a real war going on too. In case y'all ain't noticed. It's like war. It's war. I mean, it's war. I declare war. I, Ashley Weaver, June 1st, 2020, Southside Houston, Texas, Saying out my own mouth. How could the love be so fake. But the hate be so real. Anybody could get it. Bread wouldn't have come in. A.K.A. this black. 2006 Honda Accord. And. I come with peace. Not a sword. I leave that to Jesus. But I actually come with peace. Because I love peace. I hate chaos. I hate static. I hate anything that's not of uh, being quiet. If it's not no loud music, it don't need to be around me. I feel like, and if it ain't God, I don't need no judges, because he my only judge that I feel like I should have to just really, really, really answer to, besides the ones he appoint here on earth, and I have respect authority, because I, I respect authority all the way, I really do respect authority, that's why I'm still free, but at the same time, what I can't wrap my head and wrap my arm and wrap my head around. But hurt. Well, ain't nobody did nothing to you. Mad at me for what? I ain't do nothing to you. But try to be your friend. I ain't do nothing but try to be your friend. And I'm not even talking about nobody in Pacific. I'm not even talking about my situation. I'm talking about in general. I'm talking about uh, how everybody think it's cute because I keep announcing how I'm homeless. I say houseless. I will never be homeless. I'm from Bryan Town. That's my Bryan, Texas. That's my hometown. I will never be homeless. But the reason why I'm sitting in my car going live at 5 o'clock in the morning on Facebook because I really want people to see my real life. Like what I really go through. When I put myself around other people, period, period. I'm talking about period. It don't matter who they are. White, brown, purple, blue, green. They get butt hurt. The only people that ain't never been jealous of me and that will only root me on and give me real true compliments on my kids. I can honestly say that. I think that's why I like being around Antoine and Kivon so much. Because they compliment me. And they tell me the truth. But I don't want to hear a lie anyway. 
So I'll be like, y'all tell me the truth. Don't be just saying I'm cute because I'm y'all mama. Tell me the truth. They be like, nah, mama, you cute. I'm like, because if I need to go change, I got something in my teeth, my hair sticking up, is my wig straight? Like, let me know, because, you know, I got to be picture perfect. I got to stay ready. But in the middle of a war zone, it's kind of hard to be cute, y'all. I ain't going to lie. During the COVID-19, well, I call it the COVID-2020, I learned that it don't matter what state of emergency the world is in, motherfuckers still ain't for the soften their heart for shit. Like Pharaoh, no matter how many plagues, no matter how many plagues, God, okay, I guess it's time for me to start preaching. Pharaoh would not let those slaves go for nothing. Overworking those people and underpaying them. Overworked, underpaid. They praying to a God to just hear they cry and let them be set free from Pharaoh. God gave them ten chances with plagues. All right. Every time Pharaoh said he was going to do right just so God could take his hand off the plague. As soon as he got back, when he got power and control, and when God let him feel like he was back that nigga, what he do? He, he, he started chastising them people again. He started chastising them people all over again. And just because... I took a break because this boy walking. I don't know what he's doing in this parking lot. And people be dry trying to see who I am. And while they dry trying to see who I am, I be trying to totally see who they are. But anyways, I keep my eyes on the street while I'm still talking on this live. These people doing what they want to do. But in the middle of people doing what they want to do, I'm still going to do the right thing. I'm still going to stick to the book. Because it don't matter if I choose to sit in my car, or I choose to sit in a hotel room, or I choose to sit in a mansion, or I choose choose to sit in a museum, or I choose to sit in a zoo, or I choose to sit at the park, or I choose to sit inside an efficiency, or I choose to sit inside of a tent or a hut, or a, you know, the list can go bungalow, bando, the list can go on and on. It don't matter what I sit inside of. Mansion, baby mansion. Motherfuckers still gonna have something to say. The only place I ain't really heard nobody say they wish they could stay where I stay is in, in jail. That's the only place of housing that I've had. Nobody wanted to come and be with me and stay. But all the other places, oh yeah, they wanted to move straight in and never leave. half ass one to pay bills and eat up all my food. Now, these motherfuckers that's running whole households should feel me and know what, exactly what the fuck I'm talking about when I say this. I'm talking about when you paying $1,300 a month rent, I'm talking about rent. Because mortgages, where I'm from, start off at $3,000. That's what Byron was paid before he got stabbed in the house where he was paying for me and my kids to got kidnapped from so long ago and that was one of his gimmicks to get me inside the motherfucker by saying all bills paid but it's it's shit that come with it that mean I had to raise his son for him while he ran the streets and be with other women and stuff like that and cause he know I didn't want him so he already know don't come at me like that but I was a great you know, parent for his son, and he blended in with my two boys, and so it was no big deal for me to raise somebody else's child, because I've been doing it my whole life anyway, raising other people's kids. That's why I was such a great mother to my own, because I had so much practice dealing with other people's kids, 
especially ones who didn't want their kids. I was with them the most, you know. But it amazes me how in, on June 1st, 2020, my 36-year-old ass just finally figured out common sense ain't all that common. Common sense ain't all that common. It took for me to realize it is cheaper for me to save my money and be butthurt than to pay two and three thousand dollars a month for some well for other grown motherfuckers to stay. And not have to pay no bills. And then it gets to the point to where I don't feel like being in my house half the time because there's too many motherfuckers over there. And I can't enjoy it. And the only time I can enjoy it is when I kick them motherfuckers out or they gone. And then I can't kick nobody out because they look at me like, oh, how you going to do me like this? You're going to just put me out in the cold. So I'm like, nah, I don't do shit like that either. So I'm going to just wait for you to get me put out and get me evicted by my landlord, which has happened a couple of times from trying to help a friend. Because they don't know how the motherfucking me act. They bring heat to my shit. They make my apartment hot. They make my house hot. I got to do all this extra talking and have a meeting with so-and-so and so-and-so to explain myself why my cousin did this, why my cousin did that. And I'm on section 8. ain't supposed to have nobody stand with me, but I'm still letting her and her boyfriend stay with me. The streets went back and said something because they said that it's against the rules. And God forbid if Ashley break a rule. Like, the rules are made for Ashley to follow. And if anybody know, like I know, rules are hard to follow. But they're easy for me because it's not the rules that bother me. It's the people that, that, that judge you. And then it's the ones that enforce the rules. But what I don't understand is why all these white people could go around here tearing up shit and don't go to jail. Now, if I was to go out there and pick up one brick and throw it, just throw it up in the air, everybody's going to be like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? You're going to get in trouble if you do that, Ashley. Don't do that. Please don't spray that, that, that spray paint or that graffiti. You better not get caught going in for locker, getting those joints. I mean, I couldn't even be a looter. I can hear it now. A motherfucker try to scare me while I'm doing it into thinking I'm going to get in trouble and go to jail. And to remind me that I'm breaking the law. Like, I don't know why people always got to remind me what the law is and then remind me not to break it and don't get nowhere near close to breaking it. And I'll be telling them, like, what well, that shit ain't nowhere near on my mind. I remember the time when motherfuckers, it used to be cute to go around and steal your decorations. Now that motherfuckers can actually pay for them, they forgot where they came from. And then I'm supposed to just be like, yeah, I'm doing bad. I'm on my ass. This is y'all first and last time hearing me say that shit at 36 years old. Because I don't want to go to none of these sugar daddy houses that they got built for me. I didn't trick them thinking to I was going to marry them just so they could take care of me, take care of me for two years while I'm in the penitentiary. Then the day I get home, my brother is my witness. I had to call her to tell her to tell this man, please don't call the police on me and send me back to jail. The same one that just picked me up from the penitentiary and took care of me for two years. That's how I got so big. But at the end, no, my ain't even too, though, but everybody was helping. But it ain't just that. I can't do nothing for myself. So I have to depend on other people. But if I could do for myself, I am going to do for myself. Like, if I have freedom, God give me breath and to breathe, and I can talk, I'm going to talk. That's what we all do, and some of us do it very well. And with a lot of us, that's what it all is. It's just all talk and no action. That's another thing I just realized at the first of the month, that people can say what they want to say. People can really say what they want to say. 
But Ashley can't say what she want to say because it's not proper. It's politically incorrect. It goes against the rules. And I, and I totally agree with you. But guess who's not trying to be confidential? Guess who's not trying to be secretive? Guess who's don't give a fuck? It's me, Ashley Weaver. So I don't have nothing to hide. So I could go live anytime and push record. Because I'm not putting on the front. I'm not reading no script. I'm not acting. I'm just being me. Like what people say, I'm doing me. I'm doing me. I'm doing me. I'm doing me. Okay, well, I'll just be doing me. I ain't trying to be like the next motherfucker. I hope don't nobody want to be like me. But at the same time, don't try to stop me from doing shit that I want to do and trying to live my why. Because the next motherfucker don't want to see me live my why. And I'll be like, why? You can do what you want to do with your life. Let me do what I want to do with my life. That's like being an artist and somebody giving you a piece of paper. And saying draw and color on that motherfucker. And then you don't want to draw and color on the motherfucker when they give you the piece of paper. But get mad when I actually draw and color on my piece of paper. And then get the store hey, when my shit get the store actually looking to look cute. Because I'm taking out my time. And I'm sketching and I'm designing to make it my piece of paper look like a, a piece of work. Artwork. Now, you was given the same pen and piece of paper I was given. Pen and a piece of paper. You can write on top of that motherfucker whatever you want to write. You can do what you want to do. Ain't nobody stopping you. But I don't like to be stopped. Because then that makes me butt hurt. And I don't like feeling butt hurt. Because when I feel butt hurt, I get in my feelings. And then when I get in my feelings, my feelings get hurt. And then when my feelings get hurt, I start feeling some type of way. And I don't like feeling some type of way. Because when I start feeling some type of way, I feel like, a motherfucker don't like me or they hating on me. And then I like to be in a situation where there's nothing but love involved. Like if it's anything that's static, confusion, chaos, I really don't like being around it. Because back to these liars, I've been in so many situations where the, the, all the fingers have been pointed at me. And I'm like, so everybody's going to lie on me. And everybody's in unison with the lie. So now it look, makes me look like I'm lying. Although I am the only, only one that's telling the truth. And then you get to a state where you like to defend yourself. I don't know why God made us so defensive. But if somebody said something that wasn't true, I would quickly correct them. Or somebody says something that I don't like. I'm like, mm, I don't want to hear that. But when it comes to me expressing how I feel, there's no filters. Like, there's no filter for, for me because I don't get butt hurt easily. Like, you can say what you want to say about me. I don't have to defend myself on everything. Now, if it's a big and a huge, tremendous rumor that needs me to validate it, I will validate it. But as far as me keeping up with the daily gossip of what, what was said about me, no, I can give two zero lovely fucks. But what bothers me is how the, the butt hurt comes from the indirects. It don't come from the directs. Because me being direct is being real. Being honest. You know. And then when I don't get that back in return. I just know what to do. But I'm not for this change to switch up. You know what I'm saying. Because I don't never hear what I want to hear. I don't never get my way. I don't never get to make up shit and do shit. You know. So I have to just be like. Okay. 
and you turn into this yes man. And I'm okay with actually being a yes man because it ain't too many things I say no to. That when it comes to me, for Ashley wanting to do it and do it, I just do it. The only thing I haven't did yet is go to Hawaii. Because due to the coronavirus, I had to change my whole plan. So I'm stuck over here. But at the same time, while I'm stuck, I'm trying to make the best of it. And while I'm trying to make the best of shit, I'm still getting my feelings hurt more and more and more and more. And, and the more I'm trying to make sense of shit, the less... It, it, the less it makes sense. And it only brings me back to the same thing. Over and over. And people wear that shit out so much. I feel stupid for even saying it. Oh they hating on me. Oh they jealous of me. Oh. 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 I mean that's the lamest shit a bitch can really say. Because bitches really don't hate on nobody. They just envy. Now, hating on somebody is an action. But envy is when you keep it bottled and hid. And nobody knows but you. But when you start exposing yourself and you can't control your own actions and your own actions give you away, then I can't make no more excuses for you. Like I sat back and let you make excuses for yourself and I actually listened to them. And some of them I actually wanted to believe, but I already know it's a lie. But when you have on a body cam... And you're a police officer and you still choose to, to kill someone. And you know you're being recorded. That means you don't mind being exposed. You're exposing yourself. No one's doing it. You're doing it all by your lonely. And since you're doing it all by your lonely... Keep it that way. Keep it that way. Keep it that way. Keep it that way. Because I'm not trying to link up with motherfuckers that's false advertising anyway or false promoting or false living their life or false living their best life or false income tax balling that's you know, I like the way my Aunt Brenda put it. I'm a 365 bitch. I balls every day of the goddamn year. Not just income tax season. Christmas or holidays. But. When you so motherfucking bougie. To where nobody even wants to be around you. And when you. In a world where landlords are always trying to kick somebody out and, and keep their money. It make you not want to deal with people or be under a roof a lot of times. Because that's when the problems start. Like, that's when the problems occur. And I said all this to say that. Ever since I've been learning how to drive, I've been sitting in the car. All night in the parking lot. Or in the driveway. If you think I'm lying, you can ask Joe Woodward. My granddaddy, I'm not talking about my uncle, but he could tell you too. Because when it becomes a certain hour, you have to be quiet so you won't disturb nobody, so you won't wake nobody up, and all that old good shit. So I had to go sit in my car and talk to the people that have been at work all day and just now getting off. And the only time they can talk to me is overnight. Because in the morning, we both got to go to school or work. So at nighttime, it's the only time we can talk with our kids, boyfriend, girlfriends, mama, grandma. Everybody needs your attention. I mean, everybody needs your attention, but the person you want to give it to.
So I said that to say, bitch, don't be need no extra attention, anyways, because I get it. I get it naturally, and I hate it because I get too much attention just naturally. So I can't even do nothing extra because if I do anything extra, it's gonna be like too much. And I'm I'm getting older. I'm 36. I'm getting older. I'm God humble me. I'm a simple woman today. Like the things that used to excite me don't excite me no more. The things that I used to have desires for, I don't have desires for anymore. Like I seriously, literally don't. I I I I, I just don't. And nobody could make me have desires for things that I don't have desires for. And the reason why my desires have been fulfilled, key word, fulfilled. Like, I've pretty much accomplished a lot of things that I've already wanted to do. And if I do it again, it's just going to be a repeat. And it's not going to be as fun. And it's just like, it, when you grow up in a world that always points fingers at you and, and always throwing the book at you, you kind of like start following that motherfucker. And you live by the book. I live by the code. I'm really still one of the ones that live by the book. I live by the G-Codes. I really, really do. So when I have a son that's a junior in college and a son that's a sophomore in high school, I don't. the same things that give you joy don't, ain't going to give me joy because I've already been there and done that. I've already passed that stage. I'm on to, I'm on some other shit. And the shit that I'm just now seeing people experience on Facebook for the first time, I'm like, they should really scroll through my shit 10, 10 years ago when I was doing that and was still bored. Like, it, it takes a lot to move me. My daddy is a straight faggot. I don't think nobody understands when you have a daddy that's a punk. I'm finna go Facebook. I don't think nobody really understands that my daddy is a homosexual man. That he loved men. Like he really loved men. Like my dad. He didn't care that I was 11 years old looking at statues of penises or statues of dicks all around the house. To him that was art. My whole, the, the theme of my dad's whole house was penises. I swear to God. Penis. He had a penis on the wall for pictures. He had finger rings. He had like little knickknacks around the house. And if you look at it at first glance, it doesn't look like nothing. But if you look at it at second glance, you're like, oh my God, that is a dick. It's like the perfect shape of a dick. And in my mind, I found that very inappropriate. But I also thought it was inappropriate to sit back and watch my dad kiss other men too. And then justify it. He said he was gay. He didn't like women. So that made it okay. I'm like, to me that's gross, but to each his own. Who am I to judge? But I have a lot of his ways and I have a lot of his characteristics. And you know who else characteristics I have? My Heavenly Father. Not just my earthly father, but my Heavenly Father. See, this is what I do all the time. I just don't be on Facebook with the shit. These are my albums. I'm like, watch. I'm watching the parking lot. I'm watching the streets. Like, I'm on assignment. God got to tell me what my next assignment is, what I got to do, how I got to do it. No, let me take I out. What his will is, what he needs Ashley to do, and how 
I have to kill my flesh and put my flesh to the side and let the good Lord take over. It's called Jesus. Jesus, take the will. Take it from my hands. Because I can't do this on my own. I can't. I can't. I can't do this by myself. Like, I can. But being a promoter, what fun is it? If the homies can't have none. Like, I've been to gatherings and social parties. People paid a whole lot of money, but then nobody come. Only like one person came. That's not a party. A party to me is when you have a celebration. And you know how you celebrate is in numbers. So you got to have a lot of people. But what amazes me is every time I did something or hurted somebody's feelings, I caught a case. I really did. I caught a case, a, a case number, and I got sent to jail, and I actually had to pay for hurting someone else's feelings. But it's amazing to me how people can send me pictures from all over the world and, and show me how they didn't spray paint, fuck the police on the police station. And yet, they didn't charge or convict nobody for it. I guess because it was done in a mass movement. Now, see, if I would have went up there by myself and did that shit, they would have got it on camera. They would have been able to prove it was me. But if I would have went with like 30, 40, 50, 100 to people, I could have blended in. And then I could have been like, oh, no, nah, that wasn't me. I didn't have nothing to do with it. You feel what I'm saying? I could be out right now getting justice for all the 17 years they had me on probation and parole and be out there tearing up shit all over Texas. I could be tearing up shit right now. But why would I join the mass? I'm not a mass mover. I'm a two percenter. I don't move with the 98 percent. I move with the two percent. I'm a two percenter. And if you don't know what that means, I'm sorry. I'm not for this plane. But just know I'm a traveling woman. And at the same time, just know I see this shit everywhere I go. It's the same shit everywhere. I like the way people can come together and do bad shit so, so don't not one person get charged for it. When, when one person try to do good, all fingers are pointing to that one person. They say the apple don't they say the fruit don't fall short from the tree. They say bad fruit can't make good fruit and good fruit can't make bad fruit. If good fruit can't make bad fruit and bad fruit can't make good fruit, then what the hell do you call Antoine and Cuvon? Good night, Facebook. Butt hurt.